Hey guys, back with another video, and today we got week 7 NFL predictions video for you guys today. Um, another insane week in the NFL last week, and uh, we keep moving on, week 7. How are we here already? I don't know. Don't I, I don't understand it. Anyways, uh, last week I went 13-1, and one, probably my best record ever. Um... If I would have picked, if I didn't pick the upset with the Jaguars, I would have had a perfect record. It would have, it would, it would have been incredible. Um, and then uh, that brings my total season record up to sixty and thirty-two. So doing pretty good this year. Um, and then we have uh, two teams on the bye this week, including the Bears and the Cowgirls. So they will be on the bye. So we have fifteen games this week. Let's get right into them. If you hear noises in the back, it'll be because of uh, Mika, my cat. So, you know, uh, what's new around here? Anyways, let's get into the game. Starting with the Thursday night matchup, you have the Denver Broncos taking on the New Orleans Saints. Um, I don't even remember what happened last week. Uh, the Broncos, they lost to the Chargers. Not really a shocker there. The Saints, they lost to the Bucks. Man, they, they put up a tough fight. And then, in the end, they did not. Not at all. Uh, Spencer Rattler's debut, it didn't look too bad. But then, but then it didn't. It really didn't. But I think this will be a turnaround for the Saints. I think this should be a pretty easy game. Uh, the Broncos, they're nothing to be, you know, like, afraid of. Or they're nothing to, you know, take lightly. But I think uh, at home for the Saints here, I think it should be an easy win for them. So, give me New Orleans. Uh, you got the New England Patriots taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars, or should I say the London Jaguars, as this game will be in London, uh, second week in a row for the Jags. Man, Jags, all you had to do was beat the Bears, and I would have had a perfect record. <sighs> you know, that's probably my fault for picking the Bear or picking the Jags, but it is what it is. Um, the Patriots, they got absolutely destroyed last week. By the Houston Texans. Shouldn't be a shock there. And the Jags obviously like we said. Took an L last week. But I think this is where it gets turned around for the Jags. I mean they're bound to win a London game. It's in London. That's like their second hometown. So I think they should be able to get the win here. I think Trevor Lawrence will finally get things going. He hasn't been playing bad at all. But they just. Their their defense has been pretty pretty mediocre. Um uh, at at best, so, uh, but I think they'll finally get it going here and get a win, so give me the Jags, you got the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Atlanta Falcons, Falcons, they got the win over the Panthers last week, shouldn't be a shock there, the Panthers, they suck, the Seahawks, they took an L on Thursday night, so they've had an extra long bit of time to get ready for this game, but man, the Seahawks are in rough shape right now. They're you know they're dealt with tons of injuries on the defense, uh, and the Falcons they've been looking pretty good. Kirko Chains is playing playing great. Kirk, Big Kirko wakes up dripping like this. He does indeed. Um, so with that being said, I will take the Falcons. I just think they're the way better team at this point. Uh, this is a battle of the birds, and I think a Falcon will take out a Seahawk. What even is a Seahawk? Those aren't. It's not a thing. Anyways, it's just a hawk, you know. It, anyways, uh, t- give me the give me the Falcons. Um, you have the Tennessee Titans taking on the Buffalo Bills. The Titans, they uh lost in a good effort. You know, they they held in against the Colts, but weren't able to get the job done because you know Will Levis. And then the Bills, uh. I don't even know if it was Will Levis's fault. I just assume, okay. Uh, the Bills, they got a win on Monday night in a close one against the Jets. Um, but they were still able to get the win either way. Their defense played pretty well, I would say. Except for on that Hail Mary, because that's my boy Aaron Rodgers. He does he does Hail Marys, and that's all he does, okay? Um, I think this will be another easy win for the Bills here. I just think they're the way better team at this point. The Titans, they have not looked well at all. They only have one win. Things are looking rough for them. 
So, with that being said, I will take the Buffalo Bills. Uh, you got the Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns, the battle of the AFC North teams here. Um, should be an interesting one. Bengals, they got a, they finally got a, a win here, uh, this time on, uh, Sunday night against the Giants. Not really a shock there. And then the Browns had taken another big L to the, I don't remember who they lost to, but I know they just got destroyed. Um, oh my God. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me think. I don't remember. I don't give a damn because the Browns, they are looking down bad right now. Deshaun Watson, he can't play football to save his life. Like, it's bad. And the Bengals, they're not much better. But I think this is where, you know, they're on a stretch of games here where they can finally pick up some wins and get that old Bengals magic going. Kitty goes meow. The whole the whole steal. So give me Joey B in the in the Bengals. Uh gonna Getting a big win here over a division rival. You got the Houston Texans taking on my Green Bay Packers. My Packers got a huge win last week against the Cardinals. You know, it's the Cardinals. But it was probably the cleanest win we've ever had. Um, the offense looked beautiful. I mean, just could not be stopped. Um, usually it's the defense that has to, uh, you know, keep up with the offense is poor play, but the offense played great. Um, and not to mention who missed a field goal or an extra point last week, because that's just what he does. Braden Narvison, he missed another one. And guess what? He's out of green Bay and we bring in Brandon McManus, former, I would assume all pro kicker. I mean, he's, he's been a, you know, a decent, uh, kicker for over the years. So um, bringing in him, hopefully the magic, finally happens but you know what the second a kicker walks into green bay they just lose all their kicking power it's just it's a it's a thing but hopefully it's not a thing with brandon mcmanus on the other side the texans they got a big win over the uh patriots last week the shrouds they're just they're looking dominant um so man this is gonna be a tough game for the packers but at home at home uh we're wearing our all whites the white helmets making their debut. We're going to look fresh as hell out there. This should be a primetime game. This genuinely should be a primetime game because once we get to the Sunday night game, you'll especially think this should be a primetime game. Uh, Yeah, I don't know why this isn't. CJ Stroud taking on Jordan Love. It should be an absolute just insane game. But we're going to have to keep up with that Texans offense. If the defense can play how they've been playing this season, I think we could easily get a win. If we can... Force those rare CJ, CJ Stroud mistakes that we've seen in a couple games, then you know I think I think we can make things happen. Uh, Xavier McKinney, if he can uh, finally get another pick and keep that interception train going, I think we could be good. Uh, the defense has been playing incredible, and so is the offense, and that needs to happen at home against the Texans for us to get for us to get this win. So, of course, I'm taking my Green Bay Packers. I never not take my Packers, so give me them, obviously. But it should be a good one either way. You have the Miami Dolphins taking on the Indianapolis Colts. The Dolphins um, coming off of a bye. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they did not play last week. And then the Colts, they got the win over the uh, Titans. Um, Joe Flacco, he's looking decent. He's looking decent for the Colts, winning them games, keeping them in the hunt. Um, And this Dolphins team coming off of a bye, you never know. They could be in a better shape, but I don't think they will. They just, I mean, yeah, they have Tyreek Hill. They have all these weapons, but they're dealt with the injury bug like crazy. Obviously, Tua... Still going to be out, of course. I think. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. I, if two is back, then, oh, yeah. He's, 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 I mean, Dolphins have a chance. But they've, pr- this Dolphins team has proven that they cannot win games without Tua Tagovailoa. So I think that'll happen here. Give me the Colts. I just think they're the better, better team right now. You got the Detroit Lions taking on the Minnesota Vikings, the purple incarnations of Satan. Um, obviously, we're on a bye last week, and, um, you know, they're looking good, 5-0, and um, 
looking as good as can be. But I saw a stat today. The last 5-0 and team to miss the playoffs. Oh, yeah. The 2016 Vikings. Ha. But I don't know if that... I mean, I don't know if that continues here. But how how much longer could the Vikings' luck run on, you know? I personally think it's luck. Goddamn, Sam Darnold's a good quarterback? That doesn't make sense! Anyways, um... And then you have the Lions, who, man, they they put a butt-whipping on those cowgirls last week. Um, sounds a little weird now that I say it like that. But, I mean, they looked incredible. 47-9, got a score of Gami. They looked just incredible. And then Hayden Hutchinson got injured, and it just took the whole mood down. Yeah, they got a win. Yeah, they're looking like one of the best teams in football, but they also lost Aiden Hutchinson, and that's a huge loss. But I don't think it's going to take away for how good of a team this Lions team is. And I think, like I said, I think it can only last so long, this magical run that the Vikings are on, and they're eventually going to lose a game. And if they're going to lose a game, it's going to be against a tough division rival. So give me the Lions. you damn right. I'm taking the blue kitty goes now. Dan Campbell, bite your kneecaps. Let's get it. Uh, you had the Eagles taking on the Giants. Uh, Eagles, they got a win against the Browns. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's who the Browns lost to. Uh, not by a lot, though. Pretty sure they barely beat them. And then you have the Giants, who lost to the Bengals. Um, I mean, I would say this would be an interesting game, but it's not going to be. It's a 10 a.m. game, and both teams suck, and they, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take the Eagles here. I think they're the better team at this point. Uh, they're 3-2 and two now, so the Eagles are finally getting that momentum that they did not have at the beginning of the season. So, um, yeah, give me the Eagles. The Giants, they suck. Uh, that's the bottom line, because uh, Stone Cold said so. What? Uh, <laughs> you have the Raiders taking on the Rams. Uh, the Raiders, they... Uh, I'm pretty... Yeah, they played last week. They... What'd they do? What'd they do? They lost against the Steelers, that's right. Um, and did not look good at all, you know. Obviously, I'm pretty sure they're starting Aiden O'Connell now, so... Like, that's gonna make things any better, you know? Um, and then you have the Rams, uh, who were on a bye last week. And I'm very much needed by, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're 4-1. and one. They have been dealt with the injury bug like crazy. Puka out. Cooper Cup out. Um, literally, they're two biggest playmakers on offense. So... That's a buy that they really needed, and I think it's going to help them a lot. I think this Rams team, in the end of the day, can win football games. Matthew Stafford at the helm, obviously in his bye week, decided to let me be on, what was that, Fox NFL Sunday or something? Or was that CBS? I think it was Fox. He was like, yeah, I'm a sports analyst now. That's what I do on my bye week. Anyways, I think it got him locked. So give me the Rams, Stafford, McVay, and the boys. Uh... You have the Panthers taking on the Commanders. Uh, Panthers, they lost. No surprise. Commanders, they lost in a close one against the Ravens. They put up a fight, but it wasn't enough. Uh, and got abused by a, a Ravens fan after. I mean, okay, I'm not going to bring that up again because I talked about it already on AC News. So go watch AC News if you haven't already. Um, Jane, either, either way, though, even with the loss... The Ravens, they're a really good team, dude. They're a really good team, and nothing that they should hang their hat on. And it's the Panthers they're playing this week, so that's what they need. Jaden Daniels, I think he's going to take out all that ag- aggression and uh, just just apps. They might win 100 to nothing, legitimately. Give me the commanders. <laughs> uh, you have the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The Super Bowl rematch. You know, again, um, you have the Chiefs, who were on a bye last week. Um, they're 5-0, and can't be beat. And you have the Niners, who are on kind of a mini bye, so it kind of helps. They obviously played on Thursday night, so, you know, I guess, I guess it works. Uh, and absolutely destroyed the Seahawks. Uh, you know, the Seahawks kind of almost came back last second, but it was really nothing. And the 49ers' offense looked dominant. They did... Kind of almost lose Jordan Mason at the end of the game. It looked rough, but 
dude, they just, I swear to God, they just be pulling these running backs out of a goddamn hat or something. Like, where do they get them? I don't understand. Um, yeah, this 49ers offense obviously dealt with a lot of injuries, but I think they're still one of the best teams in football. I said this last week. I think I said this the week before. This 49ers team, it doesn't look like it can be stopped, but neither can this Chiefs team. So, I don't want to get my emotions ahead of this game, but I'm going to, okay? I personally think, I mean, I personally think, how do I word this the right way? I personally don't think the Chiefs should be 5-0 and right now. They have gotten really lucky, beaten some bad teams in close games. So give me the San Francisco 49ers. I think the 49ers are going to take that revenge. It'll be their revenge game for the Super Bowl. And it's a game that they really need to win at home. Afternoon game. Give me give the, give me the Niners. I'm taking them. Screw it. Uh, you have the Jets taking on the Steelers. Um, Jets. They lose on Monday night in a close one against the... Uh, Against the Bills. Uh, but then, morning after. Literally the morning after. Devontae Adams shows up to the Jets facility. And he's a New York Jet, baby. The New York Packers are here and they're here to play. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Devontae Adams finally getting out of Vegas. Much needed. I think this move should have happened in the offseason. I don't know why it didn't. I don't know why it took them this long to do it. But either way, the Jets, they got Tay. Yes, I know it won't make, won't make the world go round, but, I mean, if you have this connection with Aaron Rodgers, obviously we know they're, um, they, quarterback and wide receiver duo, uh, some of the most chemistry we've ever seen in a duo like that in NFL history, that's a non-biased Packers fan right there, totally, and, um, I think it'll make the world go round because, you have Garrett Wilson, who now moves to the slot. He won't have to uh, be pressured with getting, you know, 20-plus targets a game like he's been getting, uh, obviously, as a Garrett Wilson fantasy over. I, I love that. I loved that, and now I don't as much. But now I think it gives it gives this Jets offense way more dynamic ability to obviously lift some of that uh, targets off of Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson will go to the slot. Maybe Garrett Wilson will get more touchdowns. I just think it'll be better for this Jets team in the long run. And then you have the Steelers, who are now starting Russell Wilson. And I already went on my rant about why they shouldn't start Russell Wilson in AC News. So go watch that, because I don't want to... I already explained a lot of the Jets stuff, so this video I feel like has been long now. Um... Give me the Jets. I don't give a damn if the Steelers have been good and the Jets haven't. I think the Jets, they looked really competitive with the Bills until the very end. So, on Sunday night, this game should not be on Sunday night. I want to point that out there. It should be Texas Packers. Why? Why? Anyways, give me the Jets. Give me Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers. The boys are back in town, baby. Except in... New York, you know, different different things. Um, you have the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Bucks here on Monday Night Football. We actually have two Monday Night games. The Ravens obviously getting the win over the Commanders um last week, like I said, and the Bucks got a huge win over the Saints. Um, this Bucks team, this Bucks offense, looking dominant, but honestly, looking even more dominant. Is this Ravens offense with Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson? I mean, I've talked about it every week, but I feel like they're arguably the best offense in football. That's my personal opinion. But this Bucks offense, nothing to write home about. They're still incredible, but I just don't think they have the star power that this Ravens team does to keep up with them. So give me the Ravens. It'll be close. I think the Bucks could easily win. But I'm still taking the Ravens. I just think they're the better team at this point. And to close it out on ESPN Plus, apparently. Okay, no one cares. You have the Los Angeles Chargers 
taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals lost last week. Like I said to my Packers, you love to see it. Kyler Murray, you suck. You're terrible. Uh, although he didn't throw any picks, so he didn't play that terrible. Um, and then you have the Chargers, who got the win over the Broncos last week. This Chargers offense looking looking pretty good. You know, Justin Herbert, J.K. Dobbins, Jim Harbaugh at the helm. Looking really good. Um, man, this will be an interesting game, uh, but I don't, I don't think the Cardinals have much of a chance. I think the Chargers are just a way better team at this point. So give me the Chargers. All right. That'll be it. This, that, oh my God, I'm, 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 I'm not functioning right now. I don't know why. Anyways, that'll be it for this video today, guys. Uh, I feel like this was a longer one than it needed to be. I got to edit it, get it up to you. Literally, because I'm recording this on Thursday afternoon, so, you know, I'm a last second person, okay? Um, alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Bye, guys.